Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout. It is a full body. We're gonna be using a chair today. As you can see, I have a bench and I have some heavy weights today because we're really gonna try to hit it hard and really make this change in the body to add some more muscle so that you have a better metabolism. So you're a fat burning machine. We have four blocks today. Each block has two moves. We're gonna do them for 45 seconds with a 15 second transition. There is a blast at the end of this, so we're gonna rev up that heart rate, burn some more calories, and then we're gonna finish off with a six minute ab burner. If you haven't yet, do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Let's get you nice and warm, so roll those shoulders back. Lengthen through that torso. We're gonna start with a nice light jog. In your jaw, keep your knees soft, your eyes are lifted, you got athletic arms. Getting ready to squat, we're gonna swing the arms down and then pull the elbows to the back pocket. So drop the butt down and back. Open up that chest. Lunging back. Rotate to that knee. Nice and wide, we're gonna saw. Reach to the opposite foot. And then we're gonna come up, grab one heel, and switch. Just an active stretch in the quad. Give me one more stretch here. And then back to a jog. Go for some jumping jacks. little kick with a little march. Last one here. All right, sweep it up. Whew, big reach. Roll the shoulders. Oh. Block one, we're doing step ups. We're gonna step up with the right leg two, switch to the top, and then do left leg for two. If you do not have a step, you can do a lunge to the back. So roll the shoulders back. We're gonna step up with the right foot. Stay at the top, and then I switch. So you tap down and then really push through that foot to stand up nice and tall. So I'm doing two steps. Stay at the top on the second one and then switch. And we want a nice heavy weight here. Your legs are super strong. It's the first move of your workout. When we go heavy, we use so many different parts of the body here. We're going into a deadlift with a squat. 
Try to stay heavy. I hinge in the deadlift, pull up, drop in my squat. Woo! Nice heavy weight. Deadlift, pull it up, drop in your butt. Gotta use a little momentum to pull the weight up, so it's really heavy for me. When the weight is loaded in front, I can really get deep in that squat. Your eyes looking out in front. You gotta hold your breath in that squat. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get one more. Going back to those step ups. Woo, I'm gonna put my weight down just for a moment. Let those hands have a break. Here we go. I'm gonna start with my left leg on. Two step up. And then we switch. If your weight is lighter, you can go faster. And the same thing with your step or your chair a little bit not as high, whoops, then you can switch, you can go a little faster. Oh. Really push through that whole foot, mainly the heel, to get you up. So if you have those heavy weights, just put them down for a moment. You have that 15 seconds. And that's keeping my heart rate up too by having heavy deadlift squats. And in the second set, you're like, okay, I got this move. Move a little bit more efficiently. Quads. Ooh, and butt. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion. That smile's gonna be the end of me. Put them down for a moment. You are all that I see. At any time you need water, make sure you get it. Going into those step ups. I'm doing 25s. What about you? Right leg is on. Two and switch. Remember, if your knees are a problem, have a lower chair or stay in back lunges. Keep your shoulders back, your eyes lifted. Remember, this chair is gonna add more resistance. Whew. All right, we got deadlifts. Oh, Ooh, you feeling good? All right, bottom of the third. Grab that weight. Here we go. Deadlift. Hold up. The weight stays close to the body. I want to say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite. That smile's gonna be the end of me. If it gets too much for your back, don't go so low in the squat, right? You can make a smaller squat. That smile's gonna be the end of me. I'm gonna say something, but you are Oh yeah. You got dynamite. That smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet it tastes like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion. We're trying for some heavy weights today, you guys. That smile's, that smile's, that smile's gonna be the end. All right, drop. Ooh. Okay. Just 
check in, how are we feeling? Last set. Okay, let's finish this off so we have a short break to move into that second block. Left foot up. Step it up. Nice and tall, get a good range of motion here. Come on, keep that core braced. Eyes looking out in front. A few seconds left. Woo. Oh, here it is. Oh, bottom. Woo, my heart rate is up. Woo. Okay, five seconds, you guys. Let's get through this. Give that deadlift. Pull up. I'm not gonna talk much. It's getting heavy and hard. And I gotta brace that core. I don't wanna hurt your back. Ten seconds. Mm. Ooh, okay, break here. I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. We have a single leg bridge. You can do it without the chair. I sit close, really close. I'm gonna lift the hips up. Right leg, right arm. I'm gonna take in a drop and press. Without, I'm here, right here. Going in three seconds. Whew. Press it up, so skull crusher with a single leg bridge here. The knee stays bent. Whatever you wanna do with your left leg. It can be straight, it could be on the knee, then watch this arm here. I'm doing a 10 pound weight because we have this move for 45 seconds. And again, I don't care what you do with that right leg. As long as it's not on the bench. Ooh. So we're gonna do right and then we're gonna do the left. Ooh. All right, relax. Readjust anything. Hey, if you have a ball, this would be a great one to do on the ball, but it's very, it'd be really unstable. So get that chair. It could be on the ottoman. Hips are up. Let's do the left side. What's going on with this arm? Whatever it wants to do. We can have a party over here. Get a good range of motion. We're staying in those hamstrings, low back and glutes, <clears throat> getting that tricep. Sometimes things kind of move away from you, so readjust. 10 seconds. Woo! Push ups. Great. If you want to make this hard, feet on the bench. If you want to make it easy, hands on the bench. So I'm going to place my feet up on the bench. It is 45 seconds, you guys. Are you ready? Chest to elbow height. So again, feet off the bench would be easier. But today, what did I say? I want that chair or bench to increase the intensity. Doesn't mean you have to give me more repetitions. Woo! I just want you to make things a little harder today. Pull the abs up and in, right? If you feel the low back, 
Drop your feet to the floor. Woo. All right, we're gonna do a chest fly. I'm gonna stay on the ground here. Actually, chest press. I'm gonna use my 15. Feet are gonna just be up slightly. I'm going for a chest press. If I had 20s, I think I'd use 20s. <laughs> Knuckles up, wrist is straight. I'm not gonna come up into bridge because we have that in the next movement. We're gonna go back to those single leg bridges with skull crushers. You're feeling a little burn going on in the chest. All right, get yourself ready for that skull crusher and single leg bridge. Going back to the right side, I'll scoop my butt forward. Right leg is on, right arm has the weight, hips are up, everything drops and then lift. If you want to get more out of this, push those hips up a little higher. Keep this elbow in line with your shoulder. You could turn the hand, right? Pinky in. Whoa. Oh, come on. It's getting tough for me. How about you? Ooh, readjust. hamstring, back of the arm, that tricep, burn it up. All right, switch it. Ooh, did awesome there. Okay, here we go, last time here. You didn't have to do this four, that was pretty nice, right? So here we are in bridge, hips are up, left, left, drop and push. If the arm is too easy, turn the pinky in. You could even turn the pinky out, right? Change that direction a little bit. Super great range of motion here. Come on. Whew, my arm is getting, feeling it. Push all the way up there, come on. Don't cut yourself short. Ooh. Ooh, one more. Ooh. Are you ready for some push-ups? They're gonna feel so good now, right? Feet are up on top, or if you feel like you've been burning out a lot, bring yourself feet, uh, hands on the bench. Here we go, push up. All right, the halfway mark, we're gonna add on to this. Yay. So pull up and into that core, tuck your tailbone a little bit. One knee in, and then push up. One knee in, push up. After this, we're gonna do a fly. Really get into that chest. Woo. All right, into that fly. I'm gonna keep my 15s on the back. If you have a bench, or you can lie down on the bench. I'm just gonna have my feet up. Start with the arms together, and then open, and then close it up. So press through the heels of the hands in that fly. And I'm bringing mine just above the belly button, a little bit below the chest line. You can change the grip, right? You could do some rotating. I'm gonna keep mine open, because it depends on your shoulders. Ooh. 
All right, you guys, we have a break here. So use it, because we're gonna get ready for block three, which is a single leg Bulgarian lunge with a bicep curl. I'm gonna use my 15 in my right hand as I do my left leg. And that leg is gonna be lifted. I'm getting ready in five seconds. If you need longer, you can hit pause. So I'm gonna Bulgarian lunge with a curl. I'm gonna lean a little forward down as low as I can. I'm rotating that fist up in that bicep curl. And the back foot, right? You can have the toe down or up, whatever feels good. But this is what's really important. Right, I can have that knee go a little bit into the toe but not past the shoe wherever you want your other arm. All you ever do is All right, we're switching legs. How'd that feel? I'm gonna put my thing all the way on here so it doesn't move. Whew, here we go. Feet separated or you're gonna fall. Drop and curl. You've heard me say this before, press into the heel. Again, you can lean a little forward and pull the chest slightly up as you come into your curl. After this, we're gonna do a row. I'm gonna keep my 15. My right arm is gonna row. I'm gonna start in a forearm and then come to standing. The forearm is harder, so if you wanna stand the whole time, you can. Right arm, feet open, I'm rowing. So at the halfway mark, I'm gonna step in and not use the chair, or just use it for a little bit of support. Step in. I'm gonna start to crank it up a little bit more. You can turn the hand to face the back. You can balance on one leg. Oh. Switch the sides. So when we went for that speed, oh. heart rate went up, forearm. My left arm is going to do the row. Ooh, how's it going? <laughs> Pull the elbow up and back. Your hips are going to want to open up. Try to keep them pushing down. Got in front a little bit here. Switch it and go for it. Now, you can feel that the rest of the body is helping more versus being in that forearm plank. Woo. Bulgarian lunge. If I had a 20, I would do a 20. I'm gonna try my 25 though. I'm gonna push myself just that one little extra today. Right arm's got it. Left leg's lunging. Here we go. I'm using a little momentum to bring it up. Really sink. I might be going a little slower with a heavier weight. 
Pero sé que lo gozaré. But I got more things activating here, especially in the back side of my leg. And my arm, obviously. Ooh. Do your best. Get one more. Whew. Holy cows. Whew. Sweating here. So I'm gonna use that time. Five seconds. We're switching legs. Here we go. Drop it. Get a good curl. Remember, each side is gonna feel different. This is easier for me. Not really, but <laughs> a little bit. See how my breathing got heavier? When I went heavier with the weight, my heart rate soaring more. Whew. Row. Yay. On that forearm. Wash your back. Oh. Right arm. Wash your hips. Oh. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, roll the boat. Here it is. Remember, you can have hand on the chair. You step it back. I like it here. Here we go. This is it. Then you have a little break. Forearm plank. I'm gonna turn this way. So you can see my body mechanics. Shoulder, shoulders and hips shine down. Up and in. Switch it here. Go for it. Again, you can turn your hand. My palm is facing back. Get the elbow up. Ooh. All right, getting ready for a squat press. I want something underneath your feet. You guys doing okay? Everybody's good to go? I'm gonna put my small weights down. My heels are gonna go on there. I'm using 15 for squat and press. We're going in eight seconds. Whew. Ooh, you're doing good. Heels on, All right? We squat. And we press. I'm trying to drop my butt to my heels when you're lifted here. Your knees are a problem. Just do a small squat without the heels lifted. It's a really heavy weight. You really have to brace that core. Ooh, don't want to fall back. It could be even just on rolled up edge of the mat. Lateral lunges, the side raises. I'm gonna use fives. I step out to the right. And then step out to the left. Lateral, lift. 
If it's too light, go heavier. I'm doing five, so it's just gonna keep my heart rate up. Really sink back. Then lift up. The waist gets heavy. Bend your elbows. You'll be right there. And you get a little lower to the ground here. Come on. Whew. Side plank. I'm going to use my foot up on this chair on a forearm if you have spindles underneath your chair. Bottom knee stays bent. I'm gonna add dots. If you can, you can be here. If you look over here, if you, if you have another option. So you pick which one you want here. You could try a couple different ones. Woo! Come on. I have a little weight in that top hand to help me out here. Not only the bottom leg, but that top leg. This stuff here is getting worked. I'm gonna bend my bottom knee. I'm gonna go for this. Whoa, relax. Oh. Okay, I am gonna face the other direction so you can see my body mechanics. So I have the other leg on top. Take your options if you need it. If you wanna be on your hand, you can be on the hand. Again, you can place the top hand. So my left hand is down a little bit. Until it gets stronger. I'm gonna bend the bottom knee. Woo! You only have to do this twice on each side, you guys. Oh my God, it's getting hard. Again, if you wanna just hold it, you can hold. Bottom leg can be off the floor. Woo! Come on, a few more seconds. I'm dying here. Oh, squats. <laughs> Squat with a press. Get those little weights ready to go. Here we go. Finishing this off. Big press up there. I'm dropping my butt back. Keeping my spine long. You get rid of that arch a little bit in that low back, which is fine. Here's that breath again. Inhale the bottom. <clears throat> Exhale the press. Ooh. Ooh. Super deeper range here. Come on. Ooh. Lateral lunges. I'm gonna go a little heavier. I'm gonna try my eight. Don't go anywhere. Right? Whew. Let's go to that left side first. Oh yeah, here it is. Lateral raise. So it's a little heavier. Oh my gosh, I gotta use more of my body. But you're gonna become a fat burning machine by lifting those heavier weights. You ever notice that? When you've lifted really heavy, you tend to be more hungry. So fuel yourself with some good sources of protein. Okay, lateral, come on. Push back. Oh. All right, are you ready? Let's finish those adductors. Whoo! On that forearm. Take your options. So good for you. The things we don't like. Some 
abs. Change it. Bent knee. Oh my gosh. All right, I need a moment. I'm taking a moment. I'm gonna hit back here. Last 10 seconds. Oh, oh I, only, I couldn't do it. Woo! That's the struggle, right? It happens. But I was pushing, I was doing my best. How about you? Oh, that's all that matters. Here it is. Get up in that side. All right, we're squeezing up and in. There's so many more things working than just the adductor. You feel them? Your obliques, your shoulders, your back. I'm gonna bend my knee. Oh my gosh. Much harder for me here. These are tough, you guys. Oh. Oh my gosh. Three seconds. Come on, Michelle. Come on, you. Relax. Oh. Oh. You guys okay? All right, take a breather here. So we got a blast. It's gonna happen, right? A cardio blast using the chair for part of this. So a little more break. We're getting ready for mountain climbers. All right, you guys, get ready for the blast. Here's the list of all the exercises that you're gonna see. Take any modifications that you need. It's six minutes. We're not gonna take a break, but if you need to, you take a break, catch your breath, and come back. Or maybe you hit pause. Starting with mountain climbers, my hands are gonna be on the bench. In this mountain climber, because it's 40 seconds, I wanna focus on drawing the abs in and bring that knee into the chest as much as I can here. So I press through the heels of the hands. So it's like a constant crunch in my core. Plank toe taps, feet go on top of the bench, and I tap off and on. If you have a little more speed, are happening. Ooh. Hands on the edge of your chair, but just kind of glides just slightly away from the chair. So this is an arm blaster. Now we're going to go into a leg blaster, jumping jacks. about squat. Move a little faster. Maybe you touch the ground. Maybe even just stay and squat. <laughs> Bend those knees.
lunge jumps. You could be upright. Three seconds to mountain climbers. Woo. All right, here we go. This is the core. Really tucking under. Pressing through the hands. Make it a little faster. Toe taps. Get really up. Talk with too much. I have heard enough. Got you in your problems. I don't give it Are feeling it. You wanna feel feel something real, but I'm feeling differently. Kick. You're making plans to get to friends, but don't wanna face the fact that I ain't got time, I ain't got time, I ain't got time for that. Staying up late, sleeping all day, dreaming about cats. Jumping jacks. High new shoes, high weather pools. Here we go, come on. about squat. Get ready for your abs here. Ooh. I'm using an eight pound weight for the abs section here. Feet are gonna be up. I'm crunching up to those legs. Waist's gonna go down. I'm gonna lift the hips up, come onto the right side, push legs out, lift up, left hip, push out, up, over. So you're doing a little reverse crunch and then pressing the feet out. So again, lifting the hips up, over, up, and over. Next move, I'm gonna sit on my bench and do V-tucks, or you can stay on the floor. So I'm out, in. In. 
increases the range of motion, right? Then I'm gonna do forearm plank with my legs up on the chair. So I'm coming down, forearms, right knee, touch the floor, step back, left knee. Grab the weight, it's a crunch on your back, lifting up. You can be without weight. Feet are gonna go up. We're gonna start a second round here. Try to lift a little higher. Get up there. Weight goes down, we're gonna drop to that hip, right? We're gonna do a little hip lift to the right, push out, hip lift to the left. Really kind of twisting in those hips. So I go in, kind of wipe her to the other side. Come on up, sit on the bench, do your knee tucks. Let's get tough, come on. Do one. Forearm plank. Ooh. Talk about faith. Feet up. Is it just something you say? Touch the knee to the ground and then bring it back to plank. When you're dropping the knee down, try not to move anything else. On your back. Ooh, just a nice crunch here. Take it up. Actually, bring the weight right in front of your forehead. All right, you guys, that is the end of your abs. So let's just stretch out the legs and reach your arms. Oh. Ooh, you worked hard. So remember, 
Kind of look back in your workout and think about what you used for your weights. It's good to keep track because if you come back and you do this workout again, you can see like if you did go heavier. If you do go heavier and you can't make it through the 45 seconds, right? Go as long as you feel that you can. All right, let's hug the knees into the chest. Now if you flip it, come to all four, round the back. And then release, look up, do that again. Sit in child, just thread through in child. So take the right arm, reach it through, and then sit back in child. Take yourself up. Let's thread through left arm into child. Take yourself all the way down onto your stomach. Grab back on that foot and just give yourself a quad stretch. Drop the head down. Switch the leg. Push yourself into up dog or sphinx. Ooh, a little down dog would be great. You can walk the dog, alternate the heels lifting. Press both heels down. Soften the knees, bring the legs out in front. Give yourself a nice straddle stretch here. Right elbow in. Let's do the other side. Bring it up, walk it out in front. yourself on back. A little hip stretch here because we did a lot of glute. So give yourself a nice wrap, lift up and twist. And as much as we're always feeling like, <clears throat> I don't have time to stretch, believe me, you will not be able to work out as you get older, like you are now, if you don't take this time, right? So take this time. Stretch it out. I keep telling my kids that, right? It's, it's always hard when we're younger. We, our bodies feel so amazing. And then we start to get a little older. And then we start to feel things a little differently. So if you're younger, if you're in that younger, take the time, stretch. Last one we'll do here, we'll do butterfly, feet together. Knees open. See, my hips are my, ooh, my hips are really tight. My hips and my back, so I always make sure I take time, do some foam rolling, get my massage gun out sometimes. All right, you guys, I kept you here long enough. How about a big inhale? Have some gratitude to this body. Pull it down through your heart, and you have an awesome day. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again on the mat, right? We'll see you here. Whew. Hey, if you really wanna help me out, make sure you do share this. You can share this workout on your social.
tell a friend, you can send it to a women's text. So it definitely helps me out, you guys. Ah, oh, have a great day. How can I